y'all it's your girl Courtney and Lisa welcome to my channel mommyhood and entrepreneurship and today we are doing our Juneteenth celebration where we are going to be honoring our black fathers our black men because of course this year we are celebrating both Juneteenth and Father's Day on the exact same day so I thought that it would be a great idea to pull some quotes and do a series from men who are fathers who are black men who are really changing the culture and pushing the culture forward who inspire me as both a mother and an entrepreneur to be able to inspire you guys and to help prayerfully push you all forward the way that they are pushing me forward it's from the David Shins of course he has the social proof podcast the morning meetup the brain pick up podcast he's all over the place as far as entrepreneurs and all these different conferences changing the lives of many aspiring black entrepreneurs and many entrepreneurs who are already out here thriving but need help getting to the next level so today's quote is if you have children aunts little cousins nieces things of that nature be mindful that they are watching you he said that you have to be mindful that whatever you do anything that your kids do or the people that look up to you anything that you do they are going to pick that up and i wanted to read that verbatim y'all because honestly in this particular podcast david just he went on one like straight through he was just on it he was literally pastor dave i'm just gonna start calling him pastor preacher dave he is pastor preacher dave okay he is no longer dorito dave he is not dave the brain picker he is pastor preacher dave because he was on one he said you have to be very mindful that whatever you do anything that your kids do or the people that look up to you anything that you do they are going to pick that up what he is saying is that no matter what what you do in the dark what you do in the light what you do in the shade, what you do in the swim pool, what you do when everybody's looking or when nobody's looking. Someone is always paying attention to how you move. Someone is always paying attention to the actions that you take. People are following you, even if they don't necessarily mean to, even if it is subconscious. Your children see you doing things on a daily basis. And I know y'all have seen this in one of my much older videos where I said, you know what, you have to be careful about the words you use and things like that because they are watching you. But he took it even deeper. He started listing off things that I just didn't even think about. He said, you know what, if you are one to never finish one of your ventures, and you start this venture and don't finish it. And you start that venture and don't finish it. And you start this venture and don't finish it. Your children are probably going to be inconsistent. If you're wondering why your children are walking around inconsistent and those are your qualities and that is something that you've been doing, even if your children aren't purposefully trying to do it, that is a habit that they believe to be okay. If you are consistently late and tardy to things, even if your children are naturally timely people and naturally want order, you will slowly start manipulating their minds on accident to be more late, to be okay with tardiness. I, Courtney, I have been a problem with that as far as my kids are concerned. You know, when it's not work related, then a lot of times I might have been running behind. And it's literally something that I just had to start working on myself. It got to the point to where I was like, you know what? For now on, on Saturday nights, I'm going to have my son spend the night with my granny so he can learn to be timely while I am refiguring my mind to be timely to church. That is something that I had to literally refigure my mind for so that he could see some structure so that he wasn't copying my particular habit and so that I can change my habits before I ingrain in him. It's okay to be late to God's house, that it is okay if you're on time to work, but late to everywhere else. Because guess what? I might end up making him late to work because I'm teaching him that being late is okay. And it's not okay. People look at you unprofessionally. People think that you don't care about them and their events. People stop showing up for you. People start being late for you, even if y'all have a time crunch. People have things reserved that have time crunches that you end up missing out on that they plan just for you. People feel let down by you. You miss out on important things that could have changed your life. You miss, you help other people to miss out on important things that could have changed their lives. Being late has so many kinds, but yet and still, that's what I chose to teach my children on accident. These people are watching us. Our assistants, they're watching us. Our nieces, our nephews, our cousins, 
Even our big cousins, they are watching you us. You know, it was so interesting. My son was talking about how one day he wants to own a gym because my ex owned it. He was telling me how one day he wants to be a photographer because I'm a photographer. He was talking about the fact that he wanted to own a business because I own a business. He's watching me, y'all. Things that I do impact him on a daily basis. My daughter, she walks around screaming and yelling at everybody because that's how I had been communicating for a very long time. She walks around saying, you know better than that because that's something that she hears me say. And when I was listening to this podcast with Dave and he was just talking about how he taught his daughter to say dad, dad and how he plays these plenty of silly games where she'll imitate the things that he does and it just completely warms his heart. It made him realize that he is being followed, that there is somebody who is really following him. The things that we do are important. They matter, even the small things, even the leaving dishes out overnight, even the walking out of the door without everything done, even the not having a clean house, being cluttered, unorganized, always quick to give up on something, always being pessimistic, quick to speak before you think, quick to give someone else criticism, but not to criticize your own self, living lavishly when you don't have a savings or investment, bad budgeting, treating yourself with no maintenance, or not treating yourself at all, viewing yourself as unimportant, giving a bunch of people a bunch of stuff when you barely have anything and your cup is not full, so you're just pouring out your cup. Teaching your children to pour out your cup is one of the worst things you can teach your kid. Teaching your children to live paycheck to paycheck or you got money this day, but the next day you got zero. Being inconsistent in an abusive friendship, being in an abusive relationship, even if it's mentally or emotionally abusive, we are teaching these to the people who watch us. If you are a teacher, you are teaching these to your students. You are teaching these to your kids. You are teaching these to your church members. Like everything that we allow, everything that we do, everything that we are, the mistakes that we make the things that we do well the things that we do right we are teaching these things to the people around us whether or not they purposefully are trying to pick them up whether or not they're purposefully learning them from us you can teach people to be positive by just being a positive person giving people a slightly different outlook to things teaching people to be conscious of their words and to really look at things as the glasses half full saying you know what instead of saying she was wrong for that maybe i can teach her to do something better or maybe she did this part correctly this right here is her pro that just might not be her pro so we're going to work towards the pro instead of working towards whatever she was wrong just finding a way to be positive and to do things in a better way whatever it is you want to make sure that you're teaching people the right things and that's not even just your kids that's your employees everybody who we previously listed they're all important and they're all learning from me so let me know in the comments below what you think about this i can't wait to chat with y'all make sure you like comment subscribe and share also if i can remember to do it i'm going to put the link to the video where i learned all of these amazing gems in the description it may not be done immediately <laughs> but Hopefully it'll be done soon after you guys uh, first get this video. So I can't wait to celebrate this Juneteenth with you guys, um, but I did want to acknowledge the fathers since first of all, I really feel like our black men just don't get enough support. They don't get enough notice and they're really out here doing big things for the community. So I really want to shout out some of the things that I am learning from these black dads, these black men. You know, these men are not out here being deadbeat. The men of this generation are really trying to turn around the way black fathers are looked upon. They are really doing their thing nowadays. So I really want to give them their flowers. See you in the next video. Ciao.